okay guys let's start where we have left off so whenever we click on it we have to save in the same place so for doing this we need again we need to create a new store new value let's say selected like whenever you select some part then it's going to give some another like it's called uh, if else you can say yeah so in our uh, in here if you edit like whenever you click on it this selected will be changed uh, to the value of this index so we are using this accent dot payload why we have we are using it that's because um, in our input field we are going to use this selected one like uh, in here whenever we submit we are going to check for this dot props dot selected we haven't uh, get from the map search prop so we are going to use it so selected state dot selected so we got this this dot props are selected but uh, we are going to use if this dot props are selected to be any value so it's going to uh, pop up another it's going to fire another accent that's not what i'm going to use so let's uh, create a new accent yeah so in here i'm going to give the name export cons um, edit add to do like it's going to fire the editable part so in here what we need we need the accent dot payload Okay. we need yeah we need only one part we need this payload means we need the text value yeah so the value we need and i'm going to use a type okay edit add do and the payload to be value that's understandable now go to your reducer in our reducer in our we are going to create a new case now edit add to do we are going to return state again but now we are going to use this to do's again state dot reduce dot map to do and i for the index part and what we need is that if i is not if i is not equal to equal to uh what selected okay so this is also we need from state dot selected and we're gonna change the same part that is to do or else or else we need accent dot payload that we are getting so you can understand what i have written in here that if i is not equal to equal to state dot selected then we need we need the same to do that we have had now if it is equal to I guess false then we need the accent dot payload okay that you understand now just going to save it but we also need this select to be undefined because we don't need to be going else 
but if we use select to be undefined in, in here so state dot selected is going to be get to, to be false uh, to be undefined so what we need in our attitude action we don't need only value we need also the selected part okay now in our attitude reducer we are gonna need okay okay we got we have to give it like this it's an object yeah it's an object so just send it as an object so just send in an object so obj what's in obj we don't know for now but uh, i assure you that uh, we need extend dot payload dot value and in here action dot payload dot selected that's what we are gonna give it to it and also going to change this uh, selected to be undefined yeah that's all what we need now go to your where input tools input field now in here we need another dispatch we need edit add to do and going to give an object and dispatch edit add to do object mm, we haven't imported this yeah it's going to import yeah now in here if this dot props are selected or if this dot props dot selected equal to equal to zero because it's not going to check for this part yeah that's because now let's see what we can do in here i'm going to use this dot props dot edit add to do okay edit add to do and we are giving payload so the first payload is value okay so value to be same as this dot props dot text and second one is the selected one so this dot props dot selected now if we just uh, going to save it now yeah, that's all what we need in here Okay, let's uh, see that it's working or not. Now, if we just click on it and just going to check it, yeah, it's working. Oh, yeah, it's working. Okay, some new uh, new things also we we have to add. Like uh, it's going to clear out all the things in here. So in here, what we can do, we can add. Uh, what we can add we can add text to be okay. yeah this is what we need now if uh, yeah that's all what we need now just check it here it's working or not okay it's slating now if you just change it to something else it's working now now one one thing we can do more thing that uh, whenever you type in here and whenever you click on this and you just going to edit here and you can see the same thing happening in here also so for doing this what we can do uh, go to your to do.js and we're gonna use this text part uh, okay we haven't used map to props in here so i'm going to use map state to props again 
and going to a const map get to props and also going to use a state and yeah in here we're gonna use the text that we're gonna get so what we have i have used to do okay so i can use in here so instead dot text now also we need one more thing we need the selected part so in here selected to be state dot selected now in here state dot selected we have gotten so selected we get we get the text now we are just gonna going to give the hello operator part that we have used in here so let's see how can we do this so if selected is false as you can say then no we cannot use like this okay if selected is here and if selected is equal to equal to zero and it's going to show we can't use this part also okay just use it selected okay this you selected then you can say it's a text or else we do yeah that's all what we need now let's just see in action now if you just type in here and just click on it oh my what's happened this is not what we need okay so what's the okay yeah, yeah. if selected is equal to equal to the idx right so that's when it's gonna work yeah you can see that it's going to work in here now if you just edit some part as you can see the same thing happening in here if you just use in here it's going to happening in the same place so yeah we are halfway yeah we are more than halfway you can say so all the things are done so the listen part also working now we just have to add the uh, delete all part and do some overflowing action in here and the last part will be the persistence of data that's all thanks